Hello, disciples, and welcome to another edition of Imagine With Me, a series in which I get to talk and share with leaders across our church to learn how they are reimagining who we are as church in this new world, giving ourselves permission to change and walking in freedom from fear of what happens when we do change. Today, I'm so excited to have with us uh, the Reverend Stephanie Kindle, who is the executive pastor at the Park Avenue Christian Church in New York City. And she also serves as the first vice moderator uh, for the Christian Church Disciples of Christ. So welcome, Stephanie. It's so good to have you here with us. Um, Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here with you. <laughs> Why don't you share with folks a little bit about uh, not only your ministry at the park, but also people, I think people need to know a little bit more about it. what exactly does the first vice moderator do? Oh, um. holy, <laughs> holy smokes, there's so much. Uh, yeah, thank you. Um, so I am uh, the first vice moderator of the Disciples of Christ in the U.S. and Canada. Um, and that has come to mean a lot of things. Um, but primarily one of the main focuses for me is what it means to bring a a vibrant and faithful worshipful life uh, to the denomination, especially for our larger gatherings. So administrative committee, general board, and of course, general assembly. And of course, this year it's disciples virtual assembly and a virtual gathering. And um, so it's been a really interesting and creative time looking at what it means to bring people together and knowing that we are still worshiping even though we are apart or in our digital spaces and that God is still moving amongst us and doing something new and inviting us into imaginative spaces. And um, and this is a time to really lean, lean into and live into um, these digital connecting spaces for us um, going forward. And so um, these last couple of years, um, it seems like it's been a while that I've been in this position and yet not too long, um, getting to be with the moderator team and thinking about what it really means to connect and how we connect disciples um, in their faith and deepen their faith and deepen their relationship with God, especially in this time for digital technology has been one of the things as first vice moderator that has um, kind of been at the forefront of what I do. Um, I also do that for the park as well as their executive minister. I help uh, lead worship in this digital space and in this way. And so um, these two gifts of mine, I suppose, have come together and it's been really fun to bring and imagine and grow with all of these new disciples. Well, we've been so excited to have you share your gifts with uh, the general board administrative committee as you've helped us uh, plan virtual worship for our virtual meetings over this last uh, this last year and a half. Um, why don't we give the church some insight as to what they can expect on August seventh? What what's going to be happening uh, during that day, and who can they expect to see? Oh my goodness. Well, I hope they can expect to see everyone because I hope that you all have already registered to come to the event. Um, it's a full day event on Saturday, August 7th. Um, but more in, you know, specifically, uh, they're going to come in uh, and they're going to be able to see um, Pete, oh goodness, they're going to see <laughs> Yolanda Norton and Eric Smith, who are both leading Bible um, studies. They're going to be able to see you and I and your moderator team. They're going to see um, all sorts of new vendors and people like that to come and see what creative ministries are happening online and how they can support local and global disciples doing that type of work. They're going to, we're going to have workshops, all sorts of um, ministries from around the church are going to be presenting and talking about the good work that they are doing with God and present that in a way that is expansive and shares. And so any, any of those, um, uh, spaces that any of the things that you attend, you're going to get to see what disciples are continuing to do, even as we have um, entered into this new age of digital spaces. There's also going to be a worship um, at the end of the day uh, that you won't want to miss. There, we're bringing lots of people together, lots of different um, creative spaces, lots of different voices all coming together to worship God and really remind each other that nothing can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. Well, you've mentioned our, our theme text, uh, Romans 8, 38 and 39. And we had 
uh, originally chosen that as the theme text for the 20, what was going to be uh, the 2021 General Assembly in Louisville. And of course, th this is not a, a General Assembly. Uh, we're not having business. We are just having uh, Bible study and workshops and, and worship and, and a chance to gather. Could you talk a little bit about the, the impact of that scripture, what that scripture has meant and, and why you still think it speaks to us in this moment? Oh my goodness. Yes. So, I mean, I think it's a real testament to what God continues to do and how God continues to work in our world that we chose that scripture almost two years ago, thinking what a beautiful reminder that in everything that is happening in our lives in our faith in our churches in our world, that nothing can separate us from God. And then little did we know the foresight and the way the Holy Spirit works when choosing scripture, that that scripture would be so helpful and so meaningful for this time of digital worship and digital connectivity. Um, and I think it's just as meaningful, maybe even more meaningful now. I know a lot of people over the past years as we've kind of left uh, the church spaces that we were comfortable with and knew in, to enter into these um, worshiping online and digital spaces that it can feel really lonely and it can feel a little isolating. Um, and yet over this past year, we have found new tools, new ways of relating to each other that are just as faithful and just as holy uh, as when we were in person. And so that just reminds us so much that there truly is nothing that can separate us from each other and the love of God that is within each other and the love of God through Christ Jesus. And talking about that and thinking about that in ways that are helpful to each other to say, what's your church doing? What's my church doing? How do we come together? How do we remind each other that even in the spaces where we seem so much alone, that God is there with us? And it's going to be a real testament that we come back together in August to remind each other of that. Some churches are still are have gone back to worship in person and some are still online. And as we kind of uh, move through the vastness of what that means for all of us. Um, we could come together, we are still disciples, and uh, we are here together. We Nothing can separate us. I can't tell you how many times uh, I've used that scripture, thought about that scripture, prayed and used it as my own devotional, and uh, people will see uh, that we've highlighted that word nothing. I mean, it's, it's just that absolute, that absolutely nothing uh, can separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, and therefore uh, from one another. We've been talking uh, about what we're now calling the four reimaginings um, mm -hmm. in my New Year's message to the church. Um, it's, it's, I always uh, comment on the fact that uh, these ideas were first shared with the general board in February of 2020 about three weeks before the pandemic hit. So I was talking about the courage to imagine who we needed to be as a new church in a new world and boom, the new world hit. Uh, and, and so now imagining is no longer this, this you know, liminal luxury. It is its necessity. As we think about uh, the work that we're doing to better understand ourselves theologically as a church in covenant and um, the kind of stories that we tell about ourselves and, and tools and practice, how do you see this event uh, helping to reinforce those things? Sure. Well, I think one of the things that has really um, been expanded in this time uh, is 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 remembering our covenant to each other. When you are baptized, when you are um, when you join a church, and everything in between, and you know, from now we are covenanting with each other to be there for each other, and and that has always been true. We've had homebound members, we had you know people that have taken time off away from the church because they've maybe had a baby or on vacation. All the different ways in which we have thought about uh, being in church and out of church, and now in this time, it is really said we are recommitting to each other. We are the covenant of each other that we have committed to each other during those times is strong and that we are now finding new ways, creative ways, inspired ways with God to connect to each other during this time. That This is a new covenant, in my opinion, um, that we are that when a global pandemic hits, we will find ways to maintain that connection, to worship, to do the things that are so important to us, have communion, uh, join the church, be in fellowship. And that it, this time and what we are doing here is a real testament to uh, each of us reaching out and saying, I'm still here. I still see you. I still support you. And I still support the work that you and God are doing. And so covenant for me um, 
is really reinforced with this digital gathering for us to say, even in the times in which we are apart, we are still disciples, we are still connected. Um, and it tells, I think right now, you know, the thing about being online is that most of these things are recorded and captured, right? We're telling a story of this time together in our lives. We are really grasping on to this moment in time to look back. And even though it's been really hard to, to be able to say, I know where God was at work. I know what God was doing. I know I saw really innovative and imaginative ministries happening in this time that was so challenging and hard. And, um, and so for me, we're telling that new story of God's people in this moment in time. Amen. Amen. I think uh, I too have been thinking about that issue of, of uh, telling our story and the history and the legacy that all of this digital footprint, uh, uh, that footprints that we've been making uh, leave for us and, and how the church will have a real record to look back and and uh, to not only see what we were doing, but how we were flowing and, and connecting with one another. I do want to leave us with just a little word about the, the kind of platform. So we're not talking about a Zoom meeting here, are we? Can you say a little bit about the kind of virtual experience that we'll be having? Absolutely. Uh, we are going to have what essentially feels like uh, you're going into a large digital space, kind of like we would um, normally. You're going to be in the kind of kind of a big ballroom sort of a thing that you walk into and you're going to be able to um, go into different spaces. You log in one time, which is really cool, and it'll take you to all the different places, all the registrations that you've done to worship, to the Bible studies, to, to anything that you need. You're going to have one thing to log in. Uh, you can learn more about this at disciples.org, obviously, and please make sure to register. Um, but the entire day is going to be held on one platform that is all housed in one space, and you'll be able to navigate that in different ways and see all the work that we are doing. Um, and it's so interactive and innovative. I've just been blown away by what God and the digital spaces and the digital partners that we are engaging have been doing. I had no idea this stuff was out there, and I'm so excited for everyone to see how this is all because it's really going to feel like um a large gathering space it, it, I, I won't feel as as kind of um in it will feel intimate i don't want to say that but it's going to feel large it's going to feel yeah uh dynamic and engaged and the energy is going to be there and it's especially going to feel that way if all of you come to this event and show up with your families and your friends and your churches um the more people the better the more people the more energy and um and that's what this time needs and i'm really excited about it well i, I always like to uh describe it as sort of a big virtual convention center right the screen the different spaces <laughs> yeah, you sort of visually have the idea that there are, there are places that you can go on the screen and not just these boxes. As beloved as these boxes on the screen have become, uh, this is a just a different level of experience. And so I'm looking for tens of thousands of disciples. Oh. Uh, to, we can handle all of you. So I'm hoping that you'll uh, be together for the Bible studies where we're going to think about what does it mean to be in covenant uh, with Yolanda Norton, who is the um, the developer and originator of the Beyonce Mass. She's a Hebrew Bible scholar, Eric Smith, thinking about connecting us with Paul's experience in Roman 8, the context there. Uh, so I'm just really excited. And Stephanie, thank you so much for all the work that you've been doing to help us uh, put the worship time together uh, and always remind us that nothing uh, can separate us from the love of God. So disciples, Go to disciples.org to get more information about how you and your family can register and be a part of this Disciples 2021 virtual gathering on August 7th. I want to see and feel you in that digital virtual space. Uh, the church really needs to gather. We miss one another. And even though uh, we won't be physically uh, present together, we will connect head and heart uh, in this wonderful, exciting new digital platform, which I think will give us some ideas about uh, future gatherings of the church and how we might adapt even a more hybrid mode. Uh, 
So thanks again to our first vice moderator, the Reverend Stephanie Kindle. I know that you're going to want to get all the information on disciples.org as we continue to imagine who we must be as a new church for a new world. And this virtual gathering is certainly something that's new and helps us explore the new possibilities that we have to be together. Go to disciples.org to get more information. We're so grateful uh, to the support of uh, several of our uh, general ministries who've become sponsors, other outside sponsors. All of this work is always supported by DMF, Disciples Mission Fund. So be sure that your congregation is participating in that work by contributing there as well. God bless you, disciples. Uh, remember that God loves you and so do I. We'll see you on the next issue of Imagine With Me.